Hello everyone, in today's video we will be talking about the project replicator which is relative plagiarism indicator, an acronym for it and it's basically meant to detect plagiarism between a set of documents that has been uploaded um, as an input and the goal of this project is to reduce the time taken to detect this uh, plagiarism between all these documents with each other as much as possible using the concepts of data parallelism and using libraries that work on similar principles. Now, the major implementation um, of uh, this project that we have conducted so far is one, the serial implementation to take a baseline time to compare it, uh, to compare the data parallel approaches to. Then there is the multiprocessing library for base data parallelism time. Then there is the pseudo data parallelism now this is purely for research purposes. It has no practical significance, but this is just to show that our code is working fine and that uh, time taken is half in nature, but we'll get to the details later in case you don't get it. Then there is a number library, which is a potential breakthrough in our process. Now, um, right now I'll uh, walk you through the rest of it as um, I explain the project. Now we have two modules. Let's go to module two first. In case you're wondering why module two first, um, there is a simple reason because that module is our PDF to text converter. All right, to save time, I've already uploaded the files and have started to convert them uh, as you add this might be visible on your screen right now. So a small example on how these files are converted and what we exactly get in return is that these PDF files are converted into text files and their path is delivered along with the number of pages. That's just for our information, but that's basically the conversion process. Now we've uh, utilized two uh, approaches, but we will get to that in a bit. Let's rush to module one very quickly uh, to see our demonstration of the plaque checker, the plagiarism checker. So I already imported all these, all these libraries then we are now, so uh, right before we do that, all, you might notice that all these PDFs that we just uploaded, they have been converted into their respective text files, which are the files that will be used for this conversion. So these files that end with txt will now be converted into vectors. And these vectors will then further be checked for plagiarism. Now let's start uh, with the serial implementation. Uh, let's say I do this and you can see that I took 582 milliseconds to complete this process and what might our output look like? There you go. It gives out an entire table. It gives out an entire table of each and every document that we had uploaded and it compares it to all the others in the process as you can see and for example sports for with sports for naturally the plagiarism will be one which is a hundred percent so to speak and one other example that we can take is shake five right here with shake two row number three now basically these documents they have a lot of variety in them this shake two and shake five they are research papers on the works of william shakespeare so you know that there might be a lot of similarities in the words used so the plagiarism in this case is 78% or 0.78, um, so to speak. So there are various other categories. For example, um, there is machine. There are research papers on machine learning. There is cloud computing. There is astronomy. There is political ideologies, patriarchy, feminism. I've taken various. Uh, I've taken a lot of variety when it comes to these documents. And this is the type of output we're getting. And the next set of outputs that we uh, will be getting is uh, these three columns, which will just simply give out all the uh, documents with the max plagiarism value that it has with any document, the name of that certain document, and the average plagiarism that uh, the entire uh, document has with the complete database that we have uploaded. That is the output for that particular approach. Now moving to the parallel manual approach, data parallel approach. This is purely for research purposes. I won't be printing the output um, to save on time. Plus you already know what it looks like. And 
you can see the wall time here is 256 milliseconds as compared to 582 milliseconds now the time has been reduced to half maybe more than that if i'm not wrong and again the, this is the second part of this uh, data parallel manual approach so in this approach basically what we're doing is that we are splitting the data into two uh, sets manually again not practical to implement but just to see if our code is working properly or not and you can see that this is the approximate range of values that we get 268 milliseconds uh, here and that is for the second approach and then comes the third approach that is a multiprocessing approach so the difference between this and the data parallel manual approach is that we still divide the data in two halves sure but this time we have two cores two processors which will be working parallelly on our data set so if we run this uh, again i won't be printing the output because you already know what it looks like now um, the wall time is 578 milliseconds now if we compare this uh, to the serial approach that's 582 milliseconds so we did a better job and uh, that's the multiprocessing approach so we've already managed to reduce the time practically speaking and then comes the number approach the final approach let me just import all the libraries and so first now and so the process the process with number uh, is a little complicated in the sense that it works on the process of caching so if i run this code right now it will simply first it will so to speak get used to the function that we have used or above and it's taking 770 microseconds right now if i run this again it takes 541 microseconds but that is not the actual output because we haven't really conducted the plagiarism checking yet which is what we will do now right um so all right so we can see that the wall time uh, in this case is 551 milliseconds i had to run the cell again uh, due to some connectivity issues so uh, as we can see the wall time is 551 milliseconds which again if we compare to the serial approach is 582 here so again we did a better job than serial approach and as well as the multiprocessing approach, if I'm not wrong, we have 578 milliseconds here, uh, which will be compared to 551. Yes, the number approach seems to be much better in this case, but that is variable. It goes up and down uh, depending on the data set and uh, printing the sample values that we have received. Again, uh, feel free to pause the video to compare. <coughs> Sorry. If we print out these values, you can, you can see that uh, it's the exact same as we saw earlier. And uh, you can obviously compare them. I'll leave the link to the GitHub repository in the description below. Right, uh, now it's time to talk about the results now that you've discussed all the approaches. And we can see that there were five tests done, five major tests done on uh, different categories one was three mini files with two three sentences each then there was actual data of 10 files then came the actual data of 26 files with the inbuilt cosine similarity which is the metric we used to detect the plagiarism to indicate the plagiarism so to speak that was our parameter and in the inbuilt cosine similarity you can see the number library really shot up it did not perform well at all. So we changed our process to manual cosine similarity. And as you can see, the time taken reduced significantly. And in the actual data of 50 files um, using manual cosine similarity. Now, uh, in our case, uh, number library performed better than multiprocessing. But that is, uh, that is uh, you know, it, it's not exactly defined, but the results are very close to what we just saw. Because, so in earlier tests, we saw that multiprocessing performed slightly, very slightly better than the number library. Now, as compared to pseudo data parallelism, which of course is not practical. So let's not worry about it too much. And as you can see, the serial implementation took more time than all these, all the other approaches. Then the next result that I would like to draw your attention on is the wall time analysis of conversion from PDF to TXT. 
So we used two approaches. One was a serial approach. One was the multiprocessing approach. And in the latest test, it it was uh, the time taken to convert the files using a serial implementation was around 36.4 seconds, and multiprocessing approach was around 35 seconds, which is a significant improvement. If you were a computer science enthusiast, you would I'm sure agree with me. And those are the conclusive results. And thank you so much for watching.